why do people love bread is I think, I think it's something that we've always had on the table. It's always been just part of what we consume. Um, you know, back in, you know, thousands of years ago, it was something that was made and it would be the staple of what you were eating. It was the, the nutrient piece of your meal. Um, I think why we love it is because of all the memories it brings back. I remember eating bread with my grandmother and my parents and having it on the dinner table. And that's really what I'm trying to get people to do is to have bread as part of their meals. And I feel like bread has gotten such a bad reputation over the years, mostly because of all the additives that have been added to it so that bakeries can increase their production and, and make it faster and more shelf stable. Um, and so I'm trying to get people back in the mindset of buying a loaf of bread every day that you have at home and you go through that loaf of bread in the day. And that's really what this little endeavor has been about, is connecting the end consumer or the buyer with the person that's making their bread and kind of bringing back that, that old school bakery feel. My name is Kevin Massey and I'm owner of Small State Provisions. We are inside my tiny little bakery here in West Hartford, Connecticut. My bakery focuses on sourdough bread. We use organic flour and everything we do is naturally leavened in the realm of bread so we don't use any commercial yeast. Uh, and why bread is something that I think about a lot. When my husband and I moved here five years ago from New York City, it was really hard to find that bread that we were craving from home. And so through a couple of different chance meetings, I ended up connecting with local cookbook author Terry Walters, who was really my door and my entry into sourdough. And then it's been a fascination ever since. And I love that I'm working with something that's alive and something that's nutritious and something that's just delicious with really, really simple ingredients. So sourdough bread is different from regular bread in that we don't use commercial yeast, we use wild yeast. So we create a starter which is just flour and water that is allowed time and it picks up the wild yeast that's in the air and then that creates a bacteria in the yeast that then leavens the breads. The starter, it, it builds the, it's the foundation of the bread and that it provides the leavening. It also ferments the bread, so our bread is much easier to digest and it gives it a really great flavor because with a commercial yeast, you're really not relying on time. The yeast is doing the work for you in, in raising the bread and giving you the, the leavening. Whereas with our bread, it requires, you know, from start to finish, a loaf of bread here at our bakery takes 48 hours to make. added a lot of products to what we do. So bread is still our foundation here at the bakery, but we also do scones, we do cookies, we do a couple of different types of brownies. Uh, we do lunch sandwiches. So it's been a really fun transition to start to add these other things to our offering. developed a recipe for a harvest bread, which is a sourdough bread with sweet potatoes, a uh, little bit of brown sugar, cinnamon, turmeric, and nutmeg, and that is phenomenal, and we do that on the weekends. 
I also really love our seeded fig loaf, which is black mission figs, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. And I would be remiss to say that my first love affair will be with our focaccia, which is baked with extra virgin olive oil and rosemary. And it's kind of the foundation of what we've built our bakery on. find Small State here at Gastro Park. So we're located over in the New Park area of West Hartford, right behind the Corner Pug. Uh, our bakery is open Thursday through Sunday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. On Sundays, we close at 1. Uh, everything can be pre-ordered online in terms of bread, so smallstateprovisions.com is where you can go for that. Otherwise, everything is sold here in the bakery, first come, first serve basis. We do tend to sell out a little bit earlier um, on some of our busy days with our bread, there is only so much bread that we can produce in this tiny space. So, uh, you know, it can be a little bit challenging in that. And we do offer subscription programs, which allow you to sign up for eight weeks of bread, which comes with delivery here in West Hartford if you live locally.